Hey guys, it's been a while. Sorry I didn't upload anything last week. Um, this is going to be a review, so, but this is going to be a lengthy talk. You can probably already tell what the item is, since basically, yeah, um, I forgot a piece of paper to record. That's fine. Um, you'll wonder, you'll see why in a bit. But, I'm sorry I didn't upload anything last week, and here's the reason, first of all. Is, oh, I guess it's 7.30, so yeah. Anyway, so, um, there was this, ma like, not massive lot, but it had uh, a rare item, which obviously is the troublesome break, and that's what the review is about. And I was like, ooh, I won't record if I win it, on, because it was going off at 12.25 at night, so... One well, of my family members had to stay up. We eventually went for 105. There were like 21 watchers. So, yeah. But, um, enough of that. This is my new little set. Factory Air Victor. Yeah. So, um, anyways, let's just get on with the review. So, as you know, I have some rare items. Like, look, here's the 1992 version of Flying Scotsman. And some of the rare Percy Anthony's work set and all of it. Like, I'm missing a zip line, the cargo drop, and the actual cargo. But, um, that's a pretty rare item. So, this, uh, one's uh, uh, gonna be about rare items. Well, about the lot, but it's gonna be. I don't know. Let's get to it. So, this is my least favorite. This is going in order from least favorite to favorite. This is just a, um,. Just a flatbed. It's supposed to hold trains on, but I can't show you because I don't want to spoil anything that I'm getting. Here, I can see if I can put. I have. A, I know it can hold three wheel trains. Oh, it can actually hold four wheel trains. But yeah, it's supposed to hold engines. Looks so I'll just include this. So yeah, it's Brio because there's these. Yeah, I don't honestly know. Why? I'm just going to put that to the side. And here's the second item of the review, which is this is another real item. And this is all for the real items, just these two. But, um, it's a real coach. Yeah. yeah uh. I don't know what I plan to do with this in terms of my series. I don't know if I want to use it in my series. I don't even know if I'm going to do my series anymore, but this is an generic coach, yeah. So, um, that's it for the real stuff. I know these are all short things, but I'm trying to get to the gold here. Next, we have my first ever tar tanker. Well, these, these two are first as well, but um, yeah, so toss in my tar tanker. I always wanted like two, but one's good as well. I have a few tankers, so it's nice to have another one. And I read the wheels, it's 1996. So, um, here you know, it just says tar. I don't know if it's a little misprinted, because look, you can see the tar is mislabeled on either of the two. I might be another factory error along with my Victor, because you can see the Victor, that's upside down, I'm not, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just saying. So, yeah, it's nice to have a tar tanker. So, yeah, the next item, I this is my third. So, I'm going to show it to you. It is a Great Face Troublesome Truck. Yes, I already have two of these. And I've wanted three. So, yeah, I have three Great Face. This one, I don't know what year it is, probably 1992 or 1993, same with this one. I don't think, no, the wheel doesn't say anything inside this one. So these two, I don't know, and this one must have been the five car value pack, because it says 2001. Name on the bottom. So I have now three gray face troubles and trucks. So, here we go. So this was a lot so far. And this is where I was hoping to use the piece of paper for the item. Oh, wait. We paid $105 for this. All of these trains. Like, these four plus the one I'm about to show you. Just five 
or 105 bucks. That's it. That means $21 for each train, but here we go. Are you ready? Yes, the troublesome brake van. Look at its condition. The only two major marks I can see are these two. That's it. Like, look at that classic laughing face. I don't expect ever to get a white face troubles in a truck. So, um, if I ever do, then, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to get on with a review. That was just a lot. So, I'm going to move the entire lot over here. And let's do the review on Trouble from Breakdown. So, my version is the brown roof version, and, um, it basically, they remain 1992 or 1993, because 1994 had their wheels, had their date on it. This doesn't say a date, so yeah. Staples on the bottom is my third staple item, because the two gray faces, the old versions, both have staples. That's nice. Um... Oh, and if you're wondering how I tell, look. Oh, I just want to show you real quick. See, the, the faces, this one doesn't exactly line up. It's a little bit war weird, but this one's not, so that's how I tell. And we're back with a review. I just lost the buffers. Hold on. If you're wondering what that was, there's was the buffers for the end of the set. Anyways, yeah, Charles and Brayfan, they have grooves on the side, um, I don't care what version I have, I'd rather have the brown, black roof version, but the brown is good too, because, um, brown is my favorite color, so, um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, it has the white face shells on Chuck, uh, face, but I don't ever, ever, let me sense this, ever expect to get a white face. If I do... Um, I might just do, like, an unboxing on it from the package I get. I don't expect ever to get one. I was hoping to get, like, this for a good deal, and I got an amazing deal on it. So, um, yeah. Okay, on the back, it's just a really simplistic item. That's, every, that's what everyone says is simplistic. It's a little oddly shaped, but, yeah. Now, I don't know why they call it the Troublesome Brake Fan. It, it, it's a van. So, yeah, it's just, you know, it's not exactly a boxcar, because we know what the boxcars look like, but yeah. yeah. So, I have this little trick. If I ever do introduce him into my series, he'll get a whole episode about him. And the reason why it will be called that is because he always has his brakes on to play pranks on the entrance. He's going to be even more troublesome and scruffy. So, yeah. That's if I ever introduce him to my series, if that series even continues on. Yeah. So, my hands aren't exactly the steadiest, so that's why I sit on the ground sometimes. Man, that's all I can say about this item. It's just, I'm super happy to have this. Because, you know, I have a lot. I really do, but I think this might be the rarest item I own. And if you're wondering, I will keep it on my desk because this is all my trains. If I were to put it on here, it would just be smuggled up because it's the rarest item. So I'm not going to do that to it. I'm just going to keep it on my desk on a 4 inch piece of track because uh, the 3 inches are super rare for me. I don't have that many. So uh, yeah. Well, I have a lot, but they're using those uh, weird supports. Anyways, that was a review on the Charleston Brake Fan. One of my favorite, I most favorite items. Um, I wish I could say more. There's nothing to say. Like, it's, it was used in a couple episodes. I know uh, a close shave and um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's the one with Scruffy. Uh, don't stand by. That's it in my mind for a second but yeah like when Oliver goes down and then this was the last one yeah it's using episodes like those so honestly yeah, a few references I don't ever see I've never I don't think I've ever seen a brown version I know there's definitely white versions of this but brown's good too and I'm really happy I got a good deal on this so that's it for this review 
on probably my rarest item, the Troublesome Breakman. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I think I'll be back next week. And who knows? Maybe next week I'll review those, um, Breakman Trolls and Trucks. Oh, one more thing. Update. They're still there. Those Thomas Wood items. They're away from all my trains, so, yeah. Anyways, that was a review. Thank you for watching.